Welcome to our video tutorial on creating a LinkedIn profile. This tutorial is a brief introduction to LinkedIn profiles. It's designed for students and faculty who want to raise the profile of their professional or research identity. One platform you can consider for doing that, in addition to ORCID and Google Scholar, is LinkedIn at linkedin.com. This video will guide you through some of the suggestions and tips that are available for building your LinkedIn profile. It was adapted from this web page at the LinkedIn site. Your LinkedIn profile is a place where you can manage your professional identity and let people know who you are and what you do, where you work or study, how you can stay up to date with your research and our teaching. It can serve as an enhanced version of your resume or CV and can help you create networks of colleagues in your field or area of study. Here's some of the key benefits. Visibility. Your profile is fully visible to all LinkedIn members who've signed into a LinkedIn.com web page or LinkedIn apps. However, you can control what appears in your profile, notifications to your network, and your privacy preferences. Improved job opportunities. An updated profile is a great way to ensure that you're found by the right people at the right time. It's also an excellent way to find job opportunities and connect with recruiters. Once you've completed your profile, you'll be more equipped to find jobs on LinkedIn. Highlight your experience and skills. All of your professional achievements, such as a new job, work anniversary promotion, can be recorded and displayed in your LinkedIn profile. It'll help you showcase your professional experience and achievements to other members who view your profile. An updated profile opens the door to meeting new members and making connections. Here's some tips for building your LinkedIn profile. Add a professional photo. You can also add a background image to personalize your profile and check out uh, some tips for picking the right LinkedIn profile on the LinkedIn website. Make your headlines stand out and write a summary. Use the about section of your profile to communicate your mission, goals, and skills. Then add your relevant work experience. You uh, add your relevant skills. You can include media samples to provide quick access to your portfolio. And then after you completed your profile, you can request recommendations from your connections and use your profile strength meter to gauge the strength of your profile. The next step is to think about building your network by sharing your profile with your wider networks. Your public profile is a simplified version of your complete LinkedIn profile, which shows up in search engines and is available to everyone. A couple of ideas for building your network, create a personal URL, create a badge for your public profile, and take advantage of cross-linking by adding your LinkedIn profile in your ORCID record and your Google Scholar profile. Be sure and check out our tutorials on claiming your ORCID ID and creating a Google Scholar profile at this URL on our Scholarly Communications LibGuide. That concludes this very brief introduction to LinkedIn. Uh, if you're looking for more in-depth information or step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a LinkedIn profile, you can watch this course at LinkedIn or feel free to contact me. I am the Scholarly Communications Librarian for the Georgia Southern University Libraries. Here's my contact information, or if you wish, you can make an appointment to meet with me, either online or face-to-face, -face. and here's a link to my appointment page. Thanks a lot.